How's it going everyone? This is Nicholas Matteo again and today we are doing the clean white look that you would find in a commercial. Before we begin, I ask you to please leave a like and subscribe. It'll help make the channel grow. And without further ado, let's begin. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into my color space transform. We're going to do the IDT and ODT again. This footage was shot on the Ari Alexa Mini. Ari Wide Gamut. Ari Luxe. We're going to go into DaVinci Wide Gamut for our output color space and output gamma. Then we're going to go into here. Go into DaVinci Wide Gamut. Output color space once again will be Rec 709 and output gamma will be gamma 2.4. Now don't worry about all of this. I know it's very exposed, so we're gonna contrast that with here with this. We're gonna start by creating an S curve. First thing I'm gonna do is bring this down. We're getting a lot of detail back right there. Now let's apply some contrast. Really getting some detail back on the low end. And now let's bring this up. With this being a clean white look, we definitely want this to be soft but have a good enough contrast, something that you would definitely see in a commercial, nothing too drastic. Somewhere around there, do before, after. Now, before we go into our balance, what I actually wanna do is do my HSL and HSV. This will help create more color depth, and what that means is it'll create deep colors, especially for their faces. I definitely wanna make their skins pop before I do anything with my balance. So I'm gonna go into my HSL, I'm gonna go into my channels, disable channels one and three. I'm gonna go into my color space, go to HSL, do the same thing for HSV, but you're gonna, in your color space, you go to HSV and disable channels one and three again. And for both of these, what I like to do is I like to just take my Luma mix right here and just bring it all the way to zero for both of them. And now what I'm gonna do here for my HSL, I'm gonna take my gain and I'm gonna bring it down to somewhere around here. We can adjust it later if we want to. Then I'm gonna go into my HSV and I'm gonna contrast that. Maybe somewhere around there. And we're gonna do our before and after. You can see there's more depth in their faces when I, when I do this. Okay, I'm liking where that's sitting. Now the next up, we're gonna do our balance. And the first thing I'm gonna do is go into my vector scope and I'm going to try to bring this as close to the center as I possibly can. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do afterwards. So, bring this here. Somewhere around there, we might have a little too much magenta left over. So we can continue to go into our offset. Maybe somewhere around there. That's looking pretty good. Now to go even further, what I like to do is I like to take my color boost and I'm going to bring it to the left. Now this might add a little bit of blue, but that's okay. We're going to contrast this with the saturation, just bring it up just a little bit. And I'm really liking what it's doing to the skin. Now, again, might be a little too much blue, so what we can do is we can just bring this a little back, somewhere around there. So this is looking pretty good so far, if we do before and after. We're getting some pretty good color separation between his skin and the background. 
is definitely popping him and her out a lot more. But if we think that there is a little too much blue in here, what we can do is we can go into our curves here, go into our hue versus sat, take this, just drag it. It'll create this custom zone. It's gonna expand it just a little bit so we have more room to work with. And I'm gonna take this and drag it. Actually, let me go into my waveform and just see what can happen. Okay, as you can see in our waveform, we're getting close, but we're not quite there yet. So what I'm gonna do is go into my sat versus sat and drag this end here Bring it to around this area. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag up here. And this might come off as a little too fake, of course, because this is looking a little too white in comparison to this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make more adjustments. Let me bring it to somewhere around here. That's looking a lot better, but I wanna pop their skin out a lot more. So I'm gonna go back into my hue versus sat. Grab this area and just see what happens. I think we can go back into our sat versus sat and maybe bring it up just a little bit more because I'm mainly just focusing on the skin. Even though this is a tutorial for the clean white look, this is looking pretty white, but I don't want it to come at a sacrifice of the quality of their skin tones. And if we go into our vector scope, I just want to check something real quick. Okay, they're still sitting where the skin tone indicator is, maybe a little too red. So what I'm gonna do is for this, I'm gonna go into my hue versus hue. Grab this and just play around with it just a little bit. Don't wanna... Yeah, bring it down just a little bit. So right there is pretty good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is just create a vignette so I can pop them out a lot more because this is supposed to be a commercial look. Next, I'm gonna go into my softness and really crank it. Somewhere around there. Let me just do my Shift H, C how soft it is, it's looking pretty good. And now I'm gonna invert it. Go into my curves, and see how far we can go. That's too far, so let's bring it back. That's an important tactic to use when you color grade. Then we go into our outside node, and just drag this just a little bit. The more subtle with this, the better. So let's do our before and after. So yeah, I think this looks pretty good. So let's do our breakdown. So obviously the first thing I did was enter the color space with IDT and ODT. So we noticed how overly exposed this was. So we went into our contrast node and really created a good custom S-curve that really brought the detail back in the highlights and even the shadows. Then the next thing we did was we did a HSL and HSB to create some good color depth for the skin tones. Then we went into our balance and started using our offset and color boost and saturation. And to get any further gunk or blue hues, we went into our HSL curves. We really utilized hue versus sat, so that's before and after. 
And then finally we created a vignette to really pop out our subjects. So yeah, let's roll the whole clip. I hope you guys really like this one. Once again, please leave a like and subscribe and feel free to write in the comments if you have any suggestions for any upcoming tutorials. And I'll catch you guys later.